Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Cruz. You know who? Back, 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 back with another video. Thank y'all for coming kicking it with me today. So y'all can see I got the BMW S1000 in front of me, 2016, man. So a lot of you guys, if you follow me on Instagram and social media, you probably noticed that the bike has not been sold. It's still around, all right? Hopefully you guys can hear me <laughs> because I got this scully on because it's very windy outside, so I got a scully to protect my head. So I do still have a bike. I do have a brand new front tire on here michelin power rs she just got a fresh oil change everything expected for riding season man so she's ready to go so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and talk about why i still have this bike and why i will not be getting a sports car but first let me go check the tire pressure get some gas and then we'll jump into it All right, guys, so we just got some gas, got some air in the tires. I got to take it very, really, very really easy on this front tire because it hasn't been broken in yet. It's a brand new tire, so got to take it pretty easy. Let's talk about why I still have the 2016 BMW S1000 double R. I still got it. So, guys, the plan was I was looking to get a car, and at the time with YouTube, everything was going really, really good. And I really could afford another car with the YouTube income. So, I mean, that was the plan. The wife was on board with it. It made sense. You know what? Like, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this thing, you know? Hold on. Red light sucks for motor vlogging. Oh, I just thought it. Quick hit. <laughs> Woo! Gosh, I love this bike. Look at that. Woo! The box pop, 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 pop. Oh, he is so cute. Ah, look at the dude. <laughs> so yes, I was planning to get in the car, everything was ready, it wasn't ready, but I was working on getting it. So some of you guys know that after we got married, that next year, that following year of our marriage, we were supposed to travel, have fun before we got kids in the house. We just want to enjoy being married. So with COVID, we couldn't travel at all. You know, didn't go anywhere with COVID. So we was, you know, it kind of basically ruined the travel plans a little bit, you know. Oh, look at that little truck. That's nice, bro. So the following year, we was gonna get, we wanted to get a house and have a kids. You know, I'm talking about having kids. So that's this year. So I got to thinking, I'm like, dang, you know, if you really want to get a house, etc., etc., there's this thing called uh, debt to income racing, y'all guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what that is. Basically, it's if your income and your debt, how much debt you have versus how much income you have. So that comes into play when buying a house. If we wanted to get a house. And I would have basically added a third auto loan. It would have put us in a very, very bad debt to income ratio. I talked to uh, my friend who was a potential real estate agent. And I was talking to, you know, just different people. And actually my guy Pete, Pete, if you watch this video, man, Pete, like uh, when I was talking about getting a car uh, on the live stream, he's like, Hugh, get a house first. I mean, he's dead right. Get a house first. So I was talking to the realtor, my realtor, my friend, and she was like, let's say, for example, your truck is thirty thousand dollars your wife's car is thirty thousand dollars and you go get another car worth forty thousand dollars y'all do the math that's like a hundred thousand dollars right so if we let's say for example you make 150 160 a year as a unit more than 50 percent of your debt is like loans for cars so we're at 50 percent like we're well over 50 percent of our debt like debt is 50 percent of our income so it just wasn't a good look if you guys don't know the mortgage rates are crazy right now how low they are uh, my realtor was saying that it's like a the three to five hundred dollar difference what you could be saving with the mortgage rates right now because they're like extremely low like 2.8 or some shit, you know i want the channel to grow but at the same time i want to put my family in best position to be successful as well to start a good foundation for my family so having a hundred thousand dollars in car debt <laughs> trying to get a house was not going to work so yeah i just had to put that on hold for right now so that's that's really what it came down to i do and I will one day have a car on the channel. The car keeps growing, the channel keeps growing, right? I'm going to have a car on the channel. But just not right now, not this year, maybe next year, who knows? I'm not sure. So that's why I haven't sold the BMW. I was like, well, if I can't get a car, I, ha I need to have some type of fun. So I decided to keep the bike. And it's a lot, lot cheaper 
than forty thousand dollar car i can tell you that so i'm actually doing a video about how much i pay for this here too i know a lot of people have been asking about it what's going on why you still got the bike thought you sold it and plus if i get a house i can actually work with my car or truck in the freaking driveway instead of having to walk all the way down to the parking garage or go all the way over to the storage to work on my bike you know just way way easier man so we're early we haven't done really anything but ideally we would like to either start building and have it closed maybe this year sometime next year i don't know so yeah just adding a car right now wouldn't have been a good smart financial choice uh because of the debt to income ratio this wouldn't have been smart the bmw is going to be around for a while plans for it i do want to do a full exhaust they're just expensive as shit uh, I do want to travel. I missed the trip to Miami, man, with Jack and Dumongus and Hey Dario and all them guys. I missed the trip. I hate that I missed it. It was last minute because I thought I was going to sell the bike and I didn't, but it was hoping stuff. So I do want to travel and go to other meets and stuff like that, man. They'll be good videos too. So I need to do a little fun. Let's see if we can drop a few years. <laughs> Woo! Yes, sir. Definitely got to break this new tie in. I'm going to hold y'all. Catch y'all next week. Peace.